Welcome back. A group of local students is trying to save lives by spreading a message. These high school students are part of JJ's Legacy's Got the Dot High School Leadership Program. Their goal, to bring awareness about the importance of registering to become an organ, eye, and tissue donor. We want the students to work with their friends and their family to let them know what they've learned and help them along their journey of what what does it really mean and how can we increase donor registration which actually saves lives and that's the whole purpose is we want to save lives with those that are still waiting the got the dot program was started in 2016 with the goal of reaching high school students who are about to get their driver's license and encouraging them to register to become an organ donor and joining us right now is Lori Malkin again to talk about the annual grilling and brewing event that benefits JJ's legacy it's coming up in just a few weeks Lori it is. thanks for coming in hi Maddie how are Hi. you I'm great and good. how are you doing you. I'm good I'm good we're busy right now getting yeah. ready for our big event and our high school program with all the students we meet and so it's been great it's been really good why is is this such a passion of yours? It's a passion because you know my son Jeff passed away and um, at age 27 and he was not a registered donor at the time so um, once he became brain death and he went through the process of that he ha they did approach us and say that he had an opportunity to be an organ donor so 14 years ago we didn't know a lot about it mm -hmm. and with him not being registered his dad and I made the decision and said yes so it was my passion now to inform all the first-time drivers and our community the need and the importance of number one and then to be able to register so um, if anything ever happens your family will know your wishes and you have been able to register so many people yeah especially by reaching out to the high schools like this mm -hmm. the high school kids and they're so amazing they're they're like sponges they just want to take everything in and you know they have their um, questions and they're missing their misconceptions but we're able to actually be able to give them the correct answers and they can take it home and share it with their families. So important. Mm -hmm. What is, what would you say, the top misconception about organ donation? Um, is that if anything happened to you, that they would save you. Okay. That's the, miss, the biggest one. But they don't realize mm -hmm. to be an organ donor, you have to be brain dead, and that's a major head injury, okay. either a car accident or an aneurysm mm -hmm. or you know, um, a bicycle accident or something, and that they don't realize that they just think if you end up in the hospital, they would not save wow. you. Nice. And, and that misconception could stop a lot of people from getting the dot. It sure does, Maddie. It really does. So if you talk to a community like Kern County, 100% will say, oh, yes, I believe in organ donation. Mm -hmm. And then um, only 46% are registered. Wow. All right, so yeah. we have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Part of that is supporting funds mm -hmm. uh, raised for JJ's Legacy so you can continue these outreach programs. Grilling and Brewing is a great way to do that. It's coming up on Thursday, November 9th, right? Right, November 9th, yes. All right, and how do people get tickets? What's going to be going on? Well, what's going to go on is that we have an amazing barbecue. We also have our entertainer this year is going to be Joe Peters, local Joe oh, Peters. Oh, he's fantastic. Yes, he's, and we're going to have line dancing lessons and line dancing and those that are come out and will dance two-stepping and Cute. just dancing and having fun. And the um, benefiting JJ's Legacy Got the Dot program are in our club students so that we can continue to educate them in the high schools and our club and then we award them with scholarships at the end of the program so that they can actually um, continue their education because they become advocates for us for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. How do people yeah. get tickets for oh, Grilling and Brewing? JJSlegacy.org. Okay. Yeah. All right. It is coming up again November 9th, so get your tickets. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming in, Lori. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you so much for having us. We'll be right back.